Diesel, return to the World Wrestling Federation. Jim Ross has a bombshell for us tonight. Plus, Gorilla Monsoon is standing by in our studios. The World Wrestling Federation president will have the official WWF word on the return of Razor, Razor and Diesel to the WWF. Plus, has Bret Hart wrestled his last match in the World Wrestling Federation? Plus, well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have the two semifinal matchups in the Intercontinental Tournament. That's going to feature the wild man, Mark Merrill, goes one on one with Owen Hart, plus Psycho Sid, right here tonight, one on one with Baruch. And something's got to give him that one. The winners meet in the finals. Well, this will be the first time that we've seen Kevin with his Fulton, along with, of course, the Iron Sheik and Mr. Bob Beck. Yes, indeed. Mr. Bob Backlund is making his way over here off oh, to the uh, broadcast position. Well, we've got room at the King Kong for a moment. And we've got an empty seat, Mr. Backlund, if you'd care to join us. Please sit down, Mr. Backlund. Gary the King Lawler is back with us as well. We've got quite a quite an explosive situation here at ringside already here, Kevin. Quite an explosive start indeed. Where'd we go, King? What's the matter with that drunken idiot? Huh? Why did you, you see him staggering and stumbling over here after why, me? Why didn't you stay and fight him like a man? He must know I got a battle in my pocket. Mr. Backlund, tell us something about this athlete. Looks to be uh, a, a very large man. Very large, sir. Very, very large. Large enough to procure the WWF Championship in the very new, near future and skillful enough also, I must say. I and don't agitate me tonight, please. No, I, I, I shall I'm not. I'm trying to be a gentleman to I, you. And I appreciate that, and, I, and as I will, you will be reciprocal. Have you been involved in the Sultan training, or have you left that up to the Iron Sheik? I've left that completely up to the Iron Sheik. He's a man that I have a lot of abomination for, like I said before, but I respect his ability. He wrestled in the Olympics. He's a national champion, right. and he, is the ultimate in professional wrestling as far as I'm concerned. So uh, obviously you are very pleased with the training thus far, Mr. Backlund, of the Sultan uh, at the hands of the Iron Sheik. Yes, I have complete confidence in the Iron Sheik, sir. The Sultan, a superstar so promising that he has united two sworn enemies and two former WWF champions with the promise of a future title. Well, let me tell you a little bit about the Sultan. Look at that drunk Jake the Snake. But the Sultan, you know, tensions are heating up right now over in the Middle East with the dispute between the United States and Iraq. And legend has it that the Sultan was captured once and held hostage. And when he wouldn't talk, they cut his tongue out. What? That's right. And now he's here in the United States where we got freedom of speech, and he can't talk. Well, there's gonna be plenty of talking tonight because we're gonna make history right here tonight with the biggest bombshell announcement, I think, ever, ever in the World Wrestling Federation. We're gonna have it right here tonight. Here comes the beating to Whoa! Boy, the Sultan, if he knows anything right away, and that is to stay away from Jake the State Roberts' DDT. I'm sure that uh, Mr. Backlund and uh, the Iron Sheik have got this man very well prepared, and everybody knows of the legendary DDT, Kevin. They certainly do. Jake the Snake Roberts looking right at us. Don't even think about it. Oh, smell the alcohol on his breath. Where are you the other one? You're pinching our hair out here, Jake. It's a shame. All right, so Jake the Snake Roberts now, and the Sultan gets, getting set to lock up. Power and elbow, Jake now taking over on the left arm. You know, Jake Shrubbery at home is drunk too from frequent watering. You better uh, take, cut Jake some slack. He's not that far from us right now, King. I cannot wait to be able to give this tremendous information. I think it's going to shatter the very foundation of the World Wrestling Federation. It is a bombshell, and we're going to have it right here for you tonight. Oh, come on, give us a little, give us a little hint. Well, I, I don't have, this is a, I want to watch the Sultan here, but look, we've got big information, a bombshell right here tonight. Jerry the King Lawler. For? Yeah, he's looking right at you, King. Jake Roberts has, hasn't taken his eyes off of you yet. Yeah, pretend you're at Old Valley's bar, you'll stay in there. Once again, lock it up, collar and elbow. I know, JR, that uh, President Monsoon this weekend on the zone, he didn't seem too pleased with the story. And uh, he has a lot of things to say. I understand he's back in our, he could be back in our studios right now. As a matter of fact, he's getting set up. Hey, wait a minute. Speaking of bombshells and presidents, I know what the bomb is. The bombshell is something sort of like the bombshell that Bob Dole started a new ad campaign claiming that Clinton's weak on drugs. That's, that's bigger than that. That's no bombshell. Anybody knows when you use drugs, they make you weak. Well, of course they do. And I, this is, there's nothing weak about this. Just this ask, is big. Just ask Jake. Look at him. <laughs> 
Sultan now exerting his force. It's a very large man listed at 290 pounds. Oh, set just a little bit early. And James got away. Away to Sultan, no. <laughs> what, are it, it, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Lawler. What is that you threw? Lawler distracting Jake the Snake Roberts, and here comes the camel clutch. That's a submission maneuver. Yes. Lawler, you threw one of those bottles at, at airport booze. <laughs> and Jake went for it, didn't he? The, the camel clutch. The Sultan victorious in his World Wrestling Federation debut. That is the maneuver that the Iron Sheik used to defeat Mr. Bob Backlund and many other superstars in the World Wrestling Federation. Mr. Backlund, Mr. Backlund, Mr. Backlund, will you please with the victory by the Sultan? Pardon me. Will you please with the baby of the Sultan? Will you please? Pardon, Jake, pardon me? Hey, look at poor Jay. I can tell just by the look in his eyes, he was real thirsty. He had wrestled the wrong way. I did everybody a favor. If he had wrestled any longer, he'd have won an overtime pay. He'd have the time of the fifth. <laughs> I understand that uh, Brian... Time of the fifth, did it? I a, yeah, we got it. I understand that Brian Pilman is standing by uh, along with... I understand with Owen Hart as well. Uh, uh, Mr. 